Tabby paw pie for me before bedtime. Not to mention Sergeant Staff, that unreasonable, adulpated. How do you spell imbecile? Ah, never mind. I'll use nitwit. Hi, it's me, Alf. Can you believe it? I'm writing a book. <coughs> Don't worry, Lucky. It's not a recipe book. It's all about my life on Melmac. That's the planet I lived on before it went bluey. Yeah, Melmac Memories by Gordon Shumway. That was my name before it was Elf, Gordon Shumway. Hey, that's what my parents named me. Anyway, I've just finished chapter one, The Phantom Pilot. It all happened my first year in the orbit guard. I was a young cadet, only 192 years old. Avery! Yo! Ascap! Yo! Rindo! Yo! Romo! Yo! W -w -w where's Gordon? He's gonna be late, and the sergeant will get mad and... Hey, Rico, don't get your fur in a knot. Gord will make it. He always does. gets here soon. <laughs> Kismet. Yo. Ah! <laughs> Thanks a heap, Neep. Uh, Gordon? <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Right. Gordon, I meant a goodbye kiss. Mwah, no problem. Mwah, mwah. Yuck! Don't kiss me! Deal. <laughs> I wouldn't forget you, Augie. <laughs> Cute. Son? Dad? Did you get the brakes fixed on your hover car? Ha! No problem, no problem! Brakes? Uh, not yet. I'll hover carefully. Don't forget to pick up the laundry! Lidley! Yo! Midley! Yo! Nidley! Yo! Nut! Yo! Tuesday driver? Make a note, Shumway. Fix the brakes! Chambler! Yo! 
Schimmelfennig! No! Shumway's next! <clears throat> Shumway! Yo, you worry too much. Morning, Rhonda. I thought these might look nice in your hair. Oh, that's sweet of you, Gordon. Shumway! Lighten up, Sarge. I'm flirting. You're flirting with death! Look what you did to my building! Look what your building did to my car! Uh... Armored guards! Hut! Uh... Colonel Cadfield is here. Sergeant Staff, this is no way to take care of your headquarters. And your uniform's a mess. What kind of example are you setting for the cadets? A poor one, sir. Shumway, clean this place up! Uh, is that an order or a request, sir? Oh! I guess it's an order. Now, eh, what can we do for you, eh, Colonel Catfield? I need a volunteer. Shumway, front and center. Yes, sir. Now! Very good. I admire the guardsman who volunteers first and asks questions later. Thank you, sir. Uh, incidentally, I do have a question. Shoot! What did I volunteer for? A highly dangerous mission that could well cost you your life. Ooh. I'll have to pass, sir. All the men in my family bruise easily. <laughs> Too late, Shumway. The sergeant staff will supervise your training. Looking forward to it. of flying in bad weather can be rough on both the plane and the pilot. Every pilot must be able to withstand the pressures of high altitude. Problem. Huh? Chow time. Today's special feline mignon. Huh? Rhonda. Hi, Gordon. What's up? Nothing. Just sitting in the cockpit. Stay away from pilot training. Trust me. Why? There's nothing greater than being a cadet pilot. My father was one, and someday I'd like to be one, too. Well, in that case, I'll give you a few tips. How do you turn this thing on? <laughs> I'm also good at nose wrestling. Perhaps another time. Petty has hatched yet another diabolical scheme to take over the planet. His squadron is over the dire straits and headed for Melmac. We must head them off. Good luck, men.
Rhonda. Hi, Gordon. I was born to fly, don't you think? Are you going up with Colonel Campfail? Well, maybe if one of the pilots has a dentist appointment or something. Uh-huh. But if I'm called, I'll be ready. Ah, there you are, Flukasen. Ah, uh, we're ready for takeoff. Uh, I'm not... I'm not Flugason! Flugason, I need the location of Larson Petty's jets. Oh, give me a radar report. Uh, radar. Radar. Well, uh, let's see. Short wave, long wave, new wave. Then, then you take the liver. New from Melmo, Mechanomatic. Gordon, you didn't pick up the laundry. <gasps> to get even with that rotten colonel for unfairly booting me out of the orbit guard. Oh, well, sir, you did blow up the zucchini building, steal the statue of Bob the Great, and insult the colonel's mother. But she was asking for it. Turn off the smoke screens. Colonel can't fail. Evasive maneuver. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> we got him on the run, Flugie, old boy. <laughs> I wish you'd stop calling me that. Lucasen, enemy jet heading for us at three o'clock. Let's see. It's two thirty now. That gives us half an hour. the rest of his life! The Colonel's in trouble. Excuse me, sir. I've got to go comb my neck. We're in position, Flugie. Blast them! There's got to be an easier way to make a living. Goodbye to everyone, and tell Curtis he can have my Cats of All Nations poster. A P.S. I won't be able to pick up the laundry. Hold that thought. Throw him in reverse! We don't have reverse, sir. The budgetary cutback. Uh, let me guess now. Stanislaus! Hey! Who was that phantom pilot? Who was that phantom pilot? Who was that phantom pilot? That phantom pilot.
Phantom Pilot is under arrest for flying an orbit craft without permission! What an invasion. An invasion? Isn't that dangerous, Gordon? Nah. Oh, Biggie. Have you heard about this phantom pilot? Are you kidding? We're like this. You know the phantom pilot? Well, I don't know her, know her. But she did wink at me. We interrupt our regular boring program with some really hot news. <laughs> Melmac is being invaded for the second time in one day. And now, for an eyewitness report, we take you to the Orbit Guard headquarters. Where Colonel Cantvale's entire air fleet is stuck in this gooey stuff. Yuck! It's all part of a diabolical plot hatched by that infamous bad guy, Larson Petty. Now, back to our regular boring... <laughs> Well, I gotta go risk my life. See ya. Don't forget to pick up the laundry. What is it with you and laundry? Well, this is just great. Who's gonna save Melmac now? Yeah, yeah, that's a good question. A phantom pilot. Quick, we've got to save Melmac. If any of you wants to be my co-pilot, knowing that you may never come back, take one step forward. Good enough! Wonder if I get overtime for this. Exhausted all diplomatic channels? Gordon? Is that the red button or the blue? <laughs> Apparently it was the red button. Now who's gonna say all those heroic lines? Who's gonna save my neck? Here come the bad guys. I guess it's time for one of those heroic lines. Go away! It must be my delivery. Someone. Don't panic, Shumway. Radio for help. Gordon, is that you up there? Yes, Mom. Be brave. And remember, pick up the laundry. But, Mom, I'm fighting a war. Couldn't I do it later? There might not be a later. Oof! Gotta go, Mom. I've gotta try another frequency. Dunny 
Johnny's Dunkeria. That's the ticket. Two, one, go, Patty! Dunk, two points. You a hat, sir? For single handedly saving Mel Mac from the clutches of Larson Petty, I present to you, Private Shumway, the Mel Mac Medal of Merit. Ouch! Congratulations, Gordon. Thanks. But half this medal belongs to the Phantom Pilot. I wonder who she is. I'll give you a hint. There's something wrong with your eye? Never mind. Why don't we go somewhere for a cat fudge sundae? Gee, I'd love to. Right after I pick up the laundry. Nitwit, nitwit. Eh, uh, maybe imbecile would be better. Huh? Oh, it's you again. I'm just working on the next chapter. It's a classic. Tune in next time and you'll see why. Uh, excuse me. Dinner is calling. Ciao.